Yo, what's going on YouTube? And if you're looking for modded accounts, modded outfits, cash drop and shark cards, you name it, DigiZani has it. With super cheap, fast, reliable services, I urge you to go to the top link in the description right now. DigiZani has the best prices. Use code REBEL for 5% discount at the checkout. And also guys, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. What are you doing? Getting good luck tomorrow on the rest of the week. Join the family. Let's not waste any more time. And let's get straight into the video. So if you do not have any of the joggers that are on the thumbnail, I'm going to put a link in the description as well on how to get those joggers. But first step is, guys, you will need to go to any clothing store on the map. And for the first outfit tutorial, you will need white joggers. So... Once you're at the any clothing store on the map, go to the top section. And once you're there, go down to the sweater section. And you will need to purchase the black turtleneck. The black turtleneck doesn't even cost that much. It's very cheap. Purchase this one. Still stay at the top section. You will need to go down to the utility vest. And purchase the utility vest I purchased. Purchase the exact one. It's going to match the outfit. So purchase the white camel plate carrier, purchase this one, and make your way over to the shoe section. We're going to buy some fresh shoes. You will need to go to the skate shoes, and once you're at the skate shoes, purchase the shoes I purchased, okay? So once you're on skate shoes, purchase the all black skate shoes. Purchase these and make your way over to the accessories. And once you're there, go to gloves and purchase the gloves I purchased. Buy the black tactical gloves. And once you've done that, go to the cap section where the hats are. Go to caps. Make sure it's on forward. And once you do find the caps on forward, purchase the exact hats I purchased. You will need to purchase the black bigness cap. Once you purchase that, make your way over to the mask store. For this part, guys, go to the mask store. Go to the same section I go to. And you will need to purchase the same mask I purchased. This mask does match the outfit. It makes the outfit r look really, really amazing. So purchase the same mask I purchased. Purchase the skull knit. Save this as an outfit. And make your way over to the telescope right next to the pier. So guys, once you're there, you're basically going to run past the telescope. Push right on the D-pad pull away from the telescope. And your mask should disappear like this. Open up your interaction menu. Go to style. Go to accessories, cycle through the hats till you find the black bigness hat. After you find that, basically back out from the interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and your outfit should look like this. Once you've done that, make your way over to the ammunition store. Alright guys, so basically we're going to transfer any duffel bag. But I'm going to show you on how to transfer a black duffel bag. And it does work for all colors as well, but we're going to be transferring a black duffel bag today. So make your way to the ammunition store, go to parachutes, go to parachute bags, and purchase the Israel two bag. It is the blue and white one. Back out from the counter, equip it on, and you will need to go to the outfit section and save this as an outfit. So basically guys, we're going to be transferring a duffel bag, the black one, over to this outfit. So if you have an outfit with the black duffel bag, you're basically going to back off from the outfit section and apply the outfit you do have the black duffel bag. And if you do not have the black duffel bag, I'll put a link down below on how to get it. So I have a black duffel bag with this outfit. Equip it on. Make your way to the mask store with a flying vehicle. I fly really high near the mask store with the outfit with the black duffel bag. This part's kind of tricky if it's your first time doing this, guys. Just basically fly really high near the mask store. Jump out of your flying vehicle. You will need to open up your parachute. Open up your interaction menu. Go to style. And apply the saved outfit we made at the gun store. Remember the outfit we were making? Apply it. Back out from the interaction menu. And basically glide into the mask store. Basically guys, you want your character to tumble into the mask store. So make them fall into the mask store. Once he falls into the mask door, continue to spam right on the D-pad till it opens up for you. Once it does open up for you, save this as an outfit. Back out from the mask door. Walk away from the mask door at least 10 or 15 feet. And apply the saved outfit we just made. And the black duffel bag should appear like this. 
Alright guys, if you did mess up on the part where you're parachuting, just basically do the same step where you parachute with the black duffel bag and jump out of your flying vehicle. Just repeat the steps if you did mess up on this part. But if you did not mess up on this part, we will continue with the next outfit tutorial. For the next outfit tutorial guys, you will need pink joggers. If you do not own pink joggers as well, there will be a link in the description on how to get pink joggers. So with your pink joggers, make your way to any clothing store on the map. It doesn't matter which one guys, they all have the same items basically, just a different store brand. So once you're there with your pink joggers, go to the top section, go to the vest section, and you will need to purchase the black vest. Basically on this next part guys, push B once, go to vest shirts, and purchase the pink band vest shirt. Once you've done that, back out from the top section, open up your interaction menu, go to inventory, go to body armors, scroll down to show armors and put it on standard armor. It should be a black armor like this. Once you've done that guys, go over to the shoe section, go to arena war shoes and purchase the white and pink light ups. It matches the pink joggers. It looks really amazing, trust me. So once you've done that guys, Make your way over to the accessory side. And once you're there guys, go to gloves and once you're in gloves, purchase the white surgical gloves. On this next step, go to the mask store. Okay guys, so once you do arrive at the mask store, go down to the crime section. We're going to buy a mask that matches our long sleeve and pink joggers. It matches like so bad. It makes the outfit look really amazing. Okay guys, so once you're there at the crime section, Purchase the mask I purchased. It's basically a pink camel t-shirt mask. Purchase this one, save this as an outfit, and continue to stay at the mask store. On this next part guys, go over to the combat helmet section. And once you're there, basically you will need to purchase a black quad lens. It is called the black quad lens. Purchase it back out from the mask store, apply the saved outfit we just made, and make your way over to the pier because there's a telescope right there so we could do the telescope glitch the telescope glitch is very very simple trust me guys it's like one of the easiest glitches in gta 5 online so basically once you're there you're basically you want to run past the telescope push right on the d-pad pull away from the telescope and your mask should disappear once you got the glitch to work open up your interaction menu go to style go to accessories Cycle through the helmet so you find the black quad lens, back out from the interaction menu, and walk away from the telescope and your outfit should look like mine. An all pink glitched outfit. So once you're there guys, basically make your way over to the mask store and save this as an outfit at least one time. Remember guys, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We're not done. We still need one more outfit to show you. We're going to be doing a glitch. It works on all platforms. And it does not delete no outfits, so you are good. Remember, it does not delete no outfits. So, on this last part, guys, for this outfit tutorial, make way to any clothing store on the map. Go over to the front counter where this lady is. Push right on the D-pad. And you will need to go to the deadline section. Go to this one and purchase the exact one I purchased, the deadline purple. Purchase that. Back out from the outfit section. Open up your interaction menu and take off the helmet. Once you do remove the helmet, still stay at the interaction menu and you will need to go down to style and basically put change appearance. So go to change appearance, launch it. It's going to take you into a room where you could change your appearance. So guys, once you do enter the room, you just want to go down to apparel. So once you are on apparel, go to crew t-shirt style and cycle through them till you find the all black t-shirt so just keep on cycling through it till you find the solid black one after you do find the solid black one push b one time put save and continue accept the alert and basically it's going to load you into a regular online session and once you do load in to a regular lobby basically just make your way over to the mass store so we can save this as an outfit so we can save once you do arrive at the mass store, buy everything I purchased, okay? So once you're there, go down to the crime section and you will need to buy a black t-shirt mask. 
It is called the black t-shirt mask and save this as an outfit one time and still stay at the mask store. So you want to move over to the left side where these hats are. After you've done that, go to the combat helmet section and purchase the call lens I purchased. Purchase this one, the aqua camo call lens, back out from the mask store. Apply the saved outfit we just made and make your way over to the pier so we could do a telescope glitch because there's a telescope right there. The telescope glitch is very, very simple. So all you want to do is run past the telescope, push right on the D-pad, pull away from the telescope, and your mask should disappear off your character's head like this. That's when you open up your interaction menu, go to style, go down to accessories, cycle through the helmets till you find the aqua, call lens we did purchase at the mask store. Back off from the interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and your outfit should look like mine. And if you did mess up on this part, basically just redo the telescope glitch. If you did not, just make your way over to the mask store and save this as an outfit. For this next part guys, you would need an arcade business. If you do not have an arcade, you could tell a friend or a stranger to lend you his arcade. So go to your arcade, register as CEO, you will need to start up the mission called the hacking device, the picture with Lester on it. Accept the alert and launch the mission. Basically, you will be spawning with a tuxedo slash suit. Okay guys, so if you do not spawn with the suit, just basically put find new session and restart the mission and you should have the suit again. So if you do have the suit, make your way over to the closest ammunition. So it doesn't matter which ammunition you go to, just make your way to the ammunition store. And once you're there, guys, basically go to the outfit section, push right on the D-pad and click the saved outfit we were just making. Once you do apply the saved outfit we just made, on this next step, guys, go to the yellow marker where it says to basically finish up the mission. Once you make your way over to the yellow drop-up point, it's going to tell you to take out all the agents. It's fine. Pull out any weapon, kill all the agents, and once you do kill out all the agents, you will need to put your weapon away. And be careful on this part, guys. Basically, walk to the agent, push right on the D-pad, and you should be picking up the FIB badge. The FIB badge should appear like this on your outfit. So guys, once it does appear on your outfit, just make your way to the closest ammunition store. It doesn't matter which one you go to, just make your way to the closest one available. So once you're there guys, go to the outfit section, push right on the D-pad, save this as an outfit, and you have this cool Tron Pants FIB badge glitch outfit. But yeah guys, if you're new here, remember, hit that subscribe button. What are you doing? Gain good luck tomorrow and the rest of the week. Also, comment below if y'all guys want more glitch outfits like this. Subscribe if you're new. But yeah, guys, hopefully y'all did enjoy. Use code REBEL to get modded accounts at DGZani. They have the best accounts. Trust me, you can get cash drops, shark cards, modded accounts. Use code REBEL for 5% off. But yeah, guys, hopefully y'all did enjoy. Catch you on the next GTA 5 online video. Peace.